Mauritius shell goose, also known as the Mauritian shell duck, is an extinct species of goose from Mauritius. The Mauritius was a very close relative of today's Egyptian goose. This bird was extremely large and its closest comparison is today's duck, geese and swans. The breeding area had consisted of the shores and lakes near the Indian Ocean on the Mauritius Island, therefore this species was endemic to the island of Mauritius. This species belongs to the Inatidae family, which contains over 146 species and 43 genera. Genealogist Johannes Pretorius' report about his stay in Mauritius is to this day one of the most comprehensive accounts of the shell goose's routine. His account consisted of these geese being abundant. He states more numbers showed up on the east and southern parts of the island in areas with more forest scrub and grasslands. He quotes they are very tame and stupid, seldom in the water, eating grass, sometimes 40 or 50 or even 100 together. When they are being shot at, the ones not hit by hail stay put and do not fly away. They usually keep to the north side of the islands. Except in the dry season when they are forced to drink on the other side of the island. As far as population goes, the duck has been extinct since the late 1680 back Crotes. Like its relative, the Mauritius shell goose was rapidly hunted to extinction. In 1681 the population had dwindled down to a few hundred, and these wild geese were said to be very rare. In 1668 Governor Olof Giodati had confirmed that the shell goose was officially extinct. As far as looks goes the Mauritius shell goose had a long catcher for larger pieces of food, such as smaller fish and worms residing in rock near the shores. Niche-wise the Mauritius shell goose primarily role was weed control. Fossil history shows that the wild fowl underwent a dramatic and adaptive radiation in the islands, taking advantage of the predator-free environment. The need for flight had diminished resulting in the birds becoming very large in size. Extinction however followed colonization as the islands by Polynesians proved disastrously disadvantageous. Large flightless birds were easily hunted and numbers dwindled down rapidly. When James Cook discovered the islands in 1778 much of the lowland forest had been destroyed and at least nine wildfowl species had become extinct through the actions of humans.